Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check for true stereo tracks in Reaper. Now, a project in front of me here where a client sent me a bunch of stereo WAV files. But I'm noticing a problem with it. All the tracks are stereo. That doesn't really make sense for most productions. Like my kick drum right here. Most people don't record kick drums in stereo. And it doesn't really sound stereo. Compared to the overheads down here. That definitely sounds stereo. But all the tracks were printed as stereo files. And I don't think they are. So the problem with that is our hard drives are going to work harder playing two channels instead of one, although it's not a big deal. But the Reaper project will also be double the size, which really matters if it's a big mix. Also, if we're using plugins with mono and stereo versions, it's going to take more DSP or CPU processing, as it needs to process two channels instead of one. And then finally, when we're making our mixing moves, it's good to know if a track is mono or stereo, because you're probably going to want to pan it differently. So what I'd like to do is first find out if each stereo track is really stereo, and then change it to mono if it's not. So let me show you how to do that. We'll start with the kick. And we're going to add a plugin that's going to phase invert one channel and mix it back to mono to see if it cancels out. And if the track cancels completely, we know it's mono. But if we still hear anything, it's stereo, at least a little bit. So let's add a plugin to the kick track. I'm going to search polarity. There's a plugin right here called Channel Polarity Control. Let's add it. And it starts out normal with both channels in phase. Nothing changing. But we can phase invert one side, either the left or the right, right here. And it doesn't really matter which one we choose. So now if we play it, one side is out of phase. And it kind of sounds weird and hollow. That's our first clue that it's probably mono. But now I want to bring both channels together. So they'll cancel out if both sides are the same. So let's go to our pins on the plugin. And the way this works is the left input comes in here and goes out to the left side. But let's switch it to go out both. And do the same with the right channel. It comes in and goes out both. So now if we play it, we don't hear anything because it completely cancels out and we hear nothing. But to be sure, let's open up the floating mixer right here. And we could watch it as we play it. With it bypassed, we see level. But with it turned on, we don't. So now we know this track is really mono, it's not stereo. So, how do we fix this? Let's move the plugin to this track, alter the PC option on the Mac, and drag it over just to get it out of the way. Then we'll select all the items on this track by double clicking and right click, go to item settings, and change the channel mode to mono left or mono right. Once again, it doesn't really matter. But now it's going to play in mono. And it still sounds exactly the same. But now I want to make the file actually mono. So I'm going to right click it again and go down here to glue items. And that's going to make a new file that's completely mono. And again, it sounds exactly the same. But now we're using one channel on that track, making it clearer what we're working with. And we should do this for every track. 
bypass it. And with it on, we hear nothing and see nothing over here. So we know it's mono. Do the same thing, select them all, change the channel mode to mono left, and then glue it. And move the plugin to the next track. Again, our snare is canceling out. So we know this track is mono. Now if we get to a stereo track, let's bring it down to the overheads. We should hear it. Although we're hearing it in mono. Before. Sounds pretty stereo to me. Put the effect back on. And we're still hearing it. So we know this track is actually stereo. Let's jump ahead to our vocal and put it here. Bypass it. Whoa! Put it back on and it cancels completely. Again, we don't see it over here because our track is actually mono. So again, We'll switch it to channel mode, mono left or right, and just glue that track. And we're done. We could choose clean current project directory and remove all the fake stereo files, leaving us with just the mono ones. And then we can get rid of that plugin completely because you don't need it anymore. So, like I said, this will make it easier for the hard drive for dealing with plugins with mono or stereo versions. But more importantly, it's going to let us know what type of source track we're dealing with when we're mixing and adjusting our pans. So, that's pretty much it. That's how to check for true stereo tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.